Hi, today we're going to be doing the ladder method for multiplication. Okay, we're going to be doing the ladder method, so we're going to be doing 168 times 4. So, let's get into it. So, you need to lay out 168, and you must include the times table sign right here. It'll be the same for um, any other table you're doing, like multiply, taking away, and add in, and divide them. <clears throat> okay, so you'll draw a line here, so you, now you need to do 100 times 4 equal to 400, I haven't done that properly in the column, so I have to do that again, make sure you're really accurate. <coughs> True. Okay, now you need to do 60 times 4 would equal 240. Okay, so then you need to do 8 times 4. Oh, and if you want to, if you want to help yourself, you can do, you can tap on it like 8 times 4 equals 32. Now you add them all up. See that you need to put in the sign for the add in. Zero. Now you would do two. 0 plus 0 plus 2 equals 2, zero, eight, four, 0 plus 4 plus 3 eight, equals 7, two, 4 plus 2 plus nothing two, equals 6, so now you got your answer of 672. So put your answer up here and you've done your ladder method. Ladder method. So, um, after that, make sure you can check um, your times just in case you've got li a little bit muddled up with it. So, check that your 100 times 4 is 400, your 6 times 4 is 240, and your 8 times 4 is 32. Make sure you add it up correctly and in columns. Because if you added it up, like, if you... If you didn't put it in the columns, it will look like this. If you didn't put it in your columns, it will look like something like this, and you'll get really muddled up. So make sure you're really accurate with this.